Tonight is the second annual Science Genius Battles where we have young people from New York City public schools, schools that have high incarceration rates, low graduation rates, here to show that they have scientific brilliance and genius. Um, so they're gonna perform over hip hop instrumentals based on science traps that they've learned in school and they're gonna showcase that for an audience full of people. Uh, to show them that there's a merging between science and hip-hop. This year, I played the role of an ambassador, so I visited, you know, a bunch of schools. Well, yeah, I visited a lot of schools, but I, I was assigned two schools, Thurgood Marshall Academy and um, Urban Assembly School for the Performing Arts, which is my old school, and I just basically helped the students craft their rhymes and just and enforce the curriculum into the classroom. They called me out, and because I was a finalist, I enjoyed it last year, I love science. So this year, I was like, uh, I gotta go again. I gotta see what's gonna be this time. I mean, it's the biggest thing now. Rap Genius is a big thing. We have amazing teams out here right now that have worked extremely hard to come out of their comfort zones, the comfort zone of just being like idle and comfortable and not having anything to do during the day. Well, Chris teaches them science through urban culture and mathematics through urban culture. He gives them something to fill their minds with. Uh, my group represents Alice, my group is Alice Prep. We're here like to represent the school for a good cause too. We love some of those, love rap, so we're here to represent the school in a good way. I'm feeling anxious, you know, butterflies, you feel me, there's mad competition here, and everybody's great. I just hope, I, I, I just hope that my team wins and everything happens well. Basically, I'm the ambassador representing for Ellis Prep, and um, he's a phenomenal group of kids. I'm introducing now um, one of the most brilliant people I know, one of the most brilliant black men I know, um, Professor Stefan Alexander. And the hip hop that you're gonna hear is the same research is showing, and um, Dr. Emden can tell you about this, that research has shown that the same thought process, the same cognitive processing, that the same creative process, delivery processing, that occurs to come up with hip hop and make that kind of music, is the same type of thinking that it takes to be a scientist. I'm just glad that I'm, I'm here to celebrate the spirit of every man, woman that have youth in them. Youth is not really an age. It's not really about being a teen. It's really about being focused on who you really are. So from Ellis High School, please come up, Ellis. Yeah. <laughs> that synthesis have many elements, but what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process to make Representing Bronx Compass High School. Yes, yes, Lady Hip Hop. We were we were torn, um, and I think I think it's fair to break the rules and actually have a tie. Okay, so the, um, we want to give the first award, uh, first prize to two groups, to two groups, one individual, Victoria. <laughs> and Brooklyn Community Arts and Media. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. You feel good. I love 
love her. I'm so proud of her. She's, in, she's an inspiration to me. First poet in the house. She's a doll. She's my baby. I feel like the event was very powerful, very positive. It's always a blessing to be involved with youth and trying to get them excited about their own artistry. I think at that age, it's very easy to be insecure and unsure about your rap, your flow, your art, your talent. But I think events like this really brings it out of kids.